Hello again. Uh, today's lesson is how to find your civil 3D project in InfraWorks Model Builder. So locating, and in this case what we're trying to do is download an original ground surface model using the Model Builder in InfraWorks so that we can then transfer that original ground surface model over here into our civil 3D based project. So what we know is we have this drawing set up with NAT 83 California State Plains Zone 3 US foot. So we know where this is in NAT 83, but we want to be able to, um, we can't just type in California State Plain coordinates into the model builder. So we want to be able to get there using latitude and longitude. So what I'll do is go here to the Analyze tab in Civil 3D find the inquiry tool. For inquiry type, if point is not expanded, expand point and pick point inverse. Now we don't need a point number, you can just go right here to where it says point one coordinate, pick this button, come out to the screen and snap to some point. And I'm going to just get an end point here at the confluence of these two streams. Okay. That fills in not only the point coordinates, but also the latitude and longitude. So then what I do is go over here, right click in the latitude and say copy value to clipboard. Now I'm going to go back over to InfraWorks, go to my model builder. Here where it says search by location, I'll right click, paste that northing. Uh, I'm going to put a comma in there. Then I come back over to Civil 3D, point one longitude, right click, copy value to clipboard, go back to InfraWorks, the model builder, right click, paste, and hit the search button. That takes me here into, looks like Modesto, California, and if I zoom in on the center of the screen, sure enough, I see a creek, dry creek, intersecting the Tuolumne River. So that's what we're looking for. So I want an area about like this for that terrain model. So I zoom to what I want. Go down here, tell the model name, and I'll call this Modesto uh, River and create model. Okay, And as you know from uh, using the the model builder previously, it takes up to 15 minutes to receive that model. So we're going to stop this recording at this point and then come back in a few minutes once we receive that model. And we're back. We have received notice from Autodesk uh, InfraWorks 360 that our model has been assembled for us. So what we do in order to get that is close the model builder and if you don't see your model uh, on the screen, press the refresh button, making sure that you have the correct uh, group set. Okay, And here I see my model, Modesto River Intersection. So I click that. Where do I want to place that? In this case, I want to go to the uh, F drive. And we'll place it right here. And hit the download button. So you don't want to watch it download. I will pause my recording here for a little bit because this part can take some time. And once the model has, con has finished downloading, it automatically opens inside InfraWorks 360. So here I can see my water courses. Here I can see the imagery that it has brought in. Looks like there's a, a, three, a few 3D buildings in the area uh, that are part of that model. And then if I look at my data sources tab over here, I can see terrain. There's an elevation model there. So what I want to do now is I want to export that using Autodesk IMX. So if I go to Settings and Utilities button, Export IMX, 
Now that will bring up a dialog box. What do I want to send? Uh, entire model is fine with me, so I'll hit that button. What's my target coordinate system? Well, I want to go ahead and go to uh, California State Plane. So if I press the button here enough times, over in my categories, USA, California, NAT 83, Zone 3, US Foot, double click. Okay, where do I want to place the target file? And I'm going to call this uh, surface from InfraWorks and hit export. Okay, and now that uh, that the export is finished, we can minimize InfraWorks. Go back over to Civil 3D. Now what I'll do is go to my Insert tab and import IMX. And I want to get that file from my videos folder, coordinating civil 3D. Here's my surface from infraworks.imx. Hit the open button. And then I get the imported data. So now there's there's several pieces of information here. There's going to be uh, some polylines. That we have alignments of different roads, etc. So this this brings in a whole bunch of information, inclu including alignments and surfaces. Uh, it's created many parcels, etc. Uh, what I want to do is I simply want the surface model. So I'm just going to isolate that object. So go here to isolate objects. Now I have the surface model, and I can right click. Go to my object viewer, and there's a 3D representation of the existing ground surface. And you can see the riverbed area, you can see the stream bed area. So that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching.